want to go now to our coronavirus coverage, and it's been a long January in the fight against COVID, and the month isn't over yet, but there's growing evidence the Omicron wave is on its way down. Uh, parts of the U.S. are uh, past the Omicron peak. The rest of the country should get there in the next couple weeks, say experts. A highly contagious Omicron variant has raged across the country and hit hospitals hard, putting extra stress on a system already strained. The most vulnerable are the unvaccinated. Recent studies show boosters provide the best protection against Omicron and will help uh, finally get this virus under control. Control means you're not eliminating it, you're not eradicating it, but it gets down to such a low level that it's essentially integrated into the general respiratory infections that we have learned to live with. While pediatric COVID cases are still high, many children remain unvaccinated, including those under five who are still not eligible for a shot. Here's a look at the latest COVID numbers across the state now, and this chart shows new infections over the past month. The state added nearly 126,000 on Friday. You can see the numbers are trending upward again. The test positivity rate is just over 21%. More than 15,000 people are currently hospitalized statewide. This includes patients in the hospital for other reasons who have since tested positive for COVID during routine testing. They're included in this count because they still require a higher level of care and resources. Here's a look now at the vaccination progress in the state. 72.6% of eligible Californians are fully vaccinated, accounting for 27.3 million people. Another 3.3 are partially vaccinated. 12.3 million have gotten their boosters. The state is giving out an average of 136,000 doses per day.